Hey guys, my name is Jen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my Magical Readathon TBR for the 2019 OWLs. Um, so, if you have never heard of the Magical Readathon, you, I'm going to link book roast video down below that explains everything for you. Um, this is my second year doing the OWLs and I just, you know, I'm a Potterhead. I love Harry Potter. So of course I had to do this. So I've decided to try and be an overachiever and I'm going to try and get all 12 owls so I can be an alchemist because in WoW, so World of Warcraft, which I play, my character is an alchemist because it's like one of the most useful professions in the game. Um, however, if I am unable to read all 12 books to get all 12 of my owls, I'm going to try and get the owls for a healer. So again, in WoW, I'm a healer class because I it's one of my favorite like things to do in a video game is to heal. So I'm going to be prioritizing the healer books um, just to make sure that I do get one of these two professions to do to aim for during the newts. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over my TBR and show you guys what I got. So the first class uh, that we have is Ancient Runes. Um, the book that you are to read need to read for this one is a retelling. For this one, I'm gonna be reading And I Darken by Kirsten White. Uh, this is a retelling of Vlad the Impaler with Vlad being a girl. So, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, next is Arithmancy and it is to read a book with multiple authors. So for this one, I'm going to once again be putting this on my TBR and hoping that I can complete it, and that is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. So, four authors there, and I'm really hoping that I finally get to this one um, because I want to be ready for Red Scrolls of Magic when it comes out. Yeah, I am still reading Queen of Air and Darkness, so what? I will finish that one too before the Red Scrolls of Magic come out. The next class is Astronomy, and it is to read a book with star in the title. I was not sure that I had a book that had star in the title, and then I remembered this one off of my daughter's bookshelf, so I decided to pick it up, and that is Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. This is one of Lala's favorite books ever, so... Hopefully we'll be reading this one. It's a nice short book, so it should be doable. The next class is Care of Magical Creatures, which is to read a book with a land animal on the cover. And while I do have multiple books with land animals on the covers, I was going for one that I also have an audiobook of, so I'm going to be listening to the audiobook plus reading this physical copy because it has pictures in it, and that is The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, A New History of a Lost World by Steve Brissati. Yes. My land animal is dinosaurs because I really want to read this. It is a nonfiction that is about dinosaurs. It's all I really needed to know. I just really want to read it. And I have the audiobook of this, so it's a fairly short audiobook. So I think that while listening and reading, I will be able to like actually digest the information that's in this. The next class is Charms. Uh, the spell is Age Line, and it is to read an adult book. I have no problem with this because I read adult books, like half the books I read are adult books. However, I have decided to go with A Lion Among Men by Gregory Maguire because I was reading this for sequel-a-thon, planning on reading this for sequel-a-thon, and because I was able to start my charms book four days early because of the extra credit, I could double this up with sequel-a-thon and yeah. That's what I decided to do for this one. <laughs> Next class is Defense Against the Dark Arts. Uh, the spell is Reducto and the prompt is to read a book that starts with the letter R. For this one, I'm going to be listening to another audiobook and that is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Really looking forward to this one because I've read one Mark Lawrence book before and loved it. So I'm gonna be reading this one as well. I kind of wanted to read them all in order, uh, but kind of screwed that up with the first one that I read anyways, because it was not like the first book he, ordered, he, he wrote. So, you know, already messed up. Might as well read this one as it is because it's been, I've had it on Audible forever now and just really want to get to it. The next one is Divination and I have decided to pick up 
uh, Lock In by John Scalzi because the prompt is set in the future. This is a book set in the near future where um, people have gotten ill and basically they're paralyzed in their bodies. Technology has been created so that they can have their mind in a robotic body. So it's in the future and I'm just really interested in reading this and yeah. That's, that's about all I know for about this. It's my first, I think it might be my first John Scalzi book. I'm not sure. But my husband read this. He said it was good. So I'm going to give this a read. The next class is Herbology. And for this one, it is to read a book with a plant on the cover. So I have picked Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. It's a pretty dead plant, which is about how my gardening skills go. I'm not very good at it, at least with house plants. I'm not very good at keeping house plants alive but I can grow like a garden inside, no problem. But that's because it doesn't rely 100% on me. A garden outside doesn't rely 100% on me for what it needs like a houseplant would. Next up is A History of Magic, which is to read a book that was published at least 10 years ago. And for this one, I'm going to be reading The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan. This is definitely published more than 10 years ago because this was published forever ago. I'm not even sure what year it was published in, but I think it's like over at least over 20 years if not 30 years old it's it's a pretty old book um but yeah i need to read it next month anyways so i found a way to fit it in to this readathon the next class is muggle studies and it is to read a contemporary so for this one i've decided to pick up if there's no tomorrow by jennifer l armentrout really enjoyed her last book um the truth about forever so hoping that i will enjoy this one and fly through it as well i just really enjoy jennifer l armentrout's writing. I've only read like her contemporary works so far and really enjoyed them so I want to get to her other books at some time but for now this is what I'm going to be reading and hopefully I love it. The next class is potions and for this it is next ingredient so a sequel. For this one I'm planning on reading Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. If you know anything about this readathon you'd be wondering why I'm not reading this for the next prompt which is Transfiguration which is sprayed edges or red cover because this has both sprayed edges and red cover, but I'm reading this as a sequel because the final book that I'm planning on reading uh, for Transfiguration is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz, which is neither a red cover or sprayed edges. However, I'm going to do what G did and I'm going to paint the edges of my pages after I pick this book up because I need to read it because it's my book club book for the month of April and it just didn't fit in to any of these categories and I needed it to fit into these categories because I'm probably not going to get too many more books than these 12 read. So I just want to make sure that I have all the books that I need to read this month in my TBR. So those are the 12 books that I'm planning on reading for my OWLs this April. Uh, let me know down below if you're participating and what you're planning on reading and I will see you guys later. Bye!